Hey there, I'm Owen McCafferty for the Film Photography Project, and today I'm going to show you how to process your own E6 color slide film at home using the FPP E6 processing kit, which you can buy on the FPP web store. Today I'm processing Kodak Ektachrome in the Super 8 format, which is a movie film, but this process will be exactly the same for all kinds of E6 color slide film, like still 35mm, 120, 16mm, and so on. The biggest benefit of doing your own E6 processing at home is clearly the cost. This E6 kit is only about 30 bucks, and you can process quite a few rolls with it, so it'll quickly pay for itself over time. Now, I shot the film you're going to see on my Bell & Howell Autoload 309 Super 8 movie camera, and it turns out this piece of garbage has a light leak in it, so you're going to see some of that on the film, but overall you'll see that the colors process beautifully and it's a really quick and easy way to get fantastic results at home. So let's start developing this film. This is the E6 kit we're using today. It comes in one quart kits. That's plenty for most types of slide film. The instructions inside the box are straightforward. Don't be intimidated by all the bottles inside the box. They'll be mixed into three chemicals. The first developer, the color developer, and the Blix. You'll need something to mix the chemicals in. I use a standard beaker. You'll also need three containers for storing the mixed chemicals. Get a good pair of rubber gloves and goggles to keep your skin and eyes safe. Let's start by mixing the first developer. Measure 708 milliliters of distilled water, then add the bottle marked first developer. Mix it well and pour it into a container. Use a funnel to prevent spills. Next we'll mix the color developer. Measure 650 milliliters of water. The color developer has two parts, labeled part A and part B. Add part A to the water and mix well. Then add part B and mix. Pour the developer into a storage container. That leaves the Blix. The chemical has three parts. Measure 414 milliliters of water. Add part A and mix well. Then add part B, mix again, and then add part C. You should end up with something that looks like really dark coffee. It stains very easily, so keep it away from clothing. Before we start developing, we need to get our chemicals up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The most convenient way I found is to use this cooking gadget. It's called a sous vide. You need to set up a water bath for your chemicals, set the temperature, and wait. Periodically, check the temperature with the thermometer until the chemicals have reached 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, load your film into a developing tank. Load the film in a dark room bag or a completely dark room. I'm using the Lomo UB1 tank for my Super 8 film. For slide stills, you'll use a Patterson tank like this. The chemicals are just over 100 degrees. It's time to start developing. We'll start off with a pre-wash. Get your tap water as close as you can to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour it into the tank and start a timer. Agitate the tank or reel every 15 seconds. After one minute, dump the water. The water should come out slightly discolored. Next, measure out the first developer. Your tank should say how much is needed to cover the film. Pour the developer into the tank. Set a timer for six and a half minutes. Agitate for 15 seconds, wait for 30 seconds, and agitate again. Repeat this until the timer runs out. When the timer's up, empty the developer back into its container. Now we need to wash. Again, get your tap water as close to 100 degrees as you can. Fill the tank and agitate for about 15 seconds. Empty the tank. Repeat this six more times, or seven times total. Next comes the color developer. Pour it into the tank and set a timer for four and a half minutes. Agitate for 15 seconds, wait 30 seconds, and repeat until the timer is up. Drain the color developer back into its container. Next, wash the film again. Just like before, fill the tank up with warm water, agitate it briefly, and then pour the water out. Repeat this six more times. After this second wash, the film is no longer light sensitive. We can open up the tank and have a peek at our film. 
At this point, it doesn't look too impressive, but we're well on the way to getting those classically vibrant ectochrome colors. Now it's time for the blicks. Pour it into the tank and set a timer for six and a half minutes. Agitate the same way as before, 15 seconds every 30 seconds. Pour the blicks back into the container. The images are slightly better and the colors are starting to come through. Still nothing spectacular, but don't panic. It's completely normal. We're going to do our last wash right under the tap. Run warm water continuously over the film for five minutes. Now the film is ready to dry. This laundry rack works great for movie film. I just loop the film through. As the film dries, the brownish tint will fade and you'll have some great looking color film. Not bad for three chemicals from a simple kit. Be sure to subscribe to the FPP podcast and head over to the FPP store. They have everything you need to develop your own film at home, including the E6 kit we use today. I'm Owen McCafferty for the Film Photography Project.